Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Today I wanted to talk about some sort of breaking news that has come out over the last couple days since Modern Masters 2015 has hit stores and has been released. And it was important enough, I thought I wanted to make a video and just get the word out to warn you guys of a potential issue out there. But as you may have heard, Modern Masters 2015 has new packaging, which is environmentally friendly, which I've been a big supporter of. I thought from hearing about this from day one that this was a good idea in that, you know, all these foiled wrappers that we open, <laughs> that it is kind of a cool idea to actually have more of a cardboard-based paper uh, wrapper for these cards. So basically what that looks like, if you haven't seen it yet, is it's sturdy cardboard and there's a pull tab on the back that allows you to basically crack the pack open with the pull tab. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> people have already found a design flaw in it and these packs are actually searchable. Now, back in the beginning days of Magic, everything up until Ice Age was in a very kind of light plasticky package usually with a white banner on the top and you could actually see through that white banner and if you kind of push the cards up the right way you could see what your rare was and i knew people who did this in the industry i knew people who worked at stores that did this and searched packs and that's why it's always a little dangerous to buy loose packs of say legends or alpha or beta or something like that because very good chance that somebody at some point has gotten curious and looked at them now they usually do a little bit of damage to the bottom of the pack when they would push up on the card so sometimes you can see some like where where the ink was at the bottom of the pack or something like that uh, but you know people who knew how to do it well could do it without leaving much or any of a mark so uh, now ice age came along they fixed that problem and it has not been an issue in magic since then so it kind of disappoints me that we have this product that's a very high quality product that costs $10 a pack that now has this design flaw in it. And I'm not going to show you or demonstrate how to do it. I just think that kind of adds to the problem. If you really want to see, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there of people demonstrating it. And yeah, it is for real. It isn't a hoax or anything. It's It can be done actually quite easily. And just to give you just a quick synopsis basically somebody will just take the turn the pack upside down with this pull tab side take a knife or some other object stick it in the flap at the bottom and break the dab of glue that's holding the bottom flap on they'll open the bottom flap pour the cards out at that point you can do whatever you want take the good cards out replace them with other cards put them back in the bottom flap take a dab of glue glue the bottom flap back together and it doesn't look like it's ever been touched as long as it's done well and at that point you could open the pack with a pull tab and never be the wiser so it's a very disheartening so i guess the warning here is a couple things first off if you go over to wizards of the coast website they have an article up that is basically their at least their initial uh, release on the issue which is pretty limited i'll leave a link to it but basically it just says uh, they know that there's been issues brought up with the packaging packs are subject to rigorous security and safety quality testing but as always <laughs> we recommend purchasing magic products from a trusted source well yeah you know on one hand i get that but on the other hand like i said this is a this is a big release for them you're you're, sent, you're charging ten dollars a pack and there's some very high quality cards in there i mean foil tarmogoyce going for like four hundred dollars or something like that there's a lot of incentive for people to abuse this design flaw so that's a little bit troublesome for me and i'm at the point you know I sure I'd buy sealed boxes <laughs> if you can afford to buy sealed boxes though mo you know probably most people can't or really don't want to or need to do that but uh, sealed boxes obviously would be safe however loose packs I don't know how good I'd feel about 
about buying loose packs and unfortunately i hate to say it but there's a lot of people in the collectible industry in general whether they're magic players or not who would want to take advantage and will take advantage of something like this i i saw it back in the 90s with the other packs and i'm just afraid it's going to happen here there's just too much incentive now i am aware that the foil packaging was not perfect either there was a way to cheat that system as well it was called box mapping i don't know how familiar you guys are with box mapping but basically what it is is people spend a lot of their time and energy <laughs> to basically collect data of packs being opened whether they you know watch openings on youtube open a bunch of boxes themselves but however they do it, there actually was a way for each set, and it was different for each set, which made it difficult. But so they would go ahead and usually a week or two, three weeks after the set was released, they'd have enough data that they could actually say, okay, if you take your 36 packs, lay them out in this order, open some random packs, like open pack number six, pack number 10, pack number 18, pack number 23, and you could basically record what you got in those packs as your rare they could tell you relatively certainly what is going to be in the other packs in your box so there's apps that were made for box mapping um, a lot of times these things get shut down so i don't know if it's wizards that goes after them or just places like maybe youtube itself or you know that just goes against their terms of agreement so a lot of times this information gets taken away but if you want to find it you can find it the only thing is i'll say this box mapping is much more difficult than this design flaw this design flaw any anybody can just you know with an object that can they can poke in the pack is going to be able to go in there and search a pack whereas you know this whole box mapping thing takes a lot of research a lot of time and once somebody does that research then you still have to go out on the internet find the information and even then it's not a hundred percent you know the wizards has tried to mix up their packs over the years to counteract this but it seems like whatever way they have to mix up their packs is always in some way mechanical it's not like there's going to be somebody shuffling packs in the warehouse right so there's always some eventually some pattern that emerges even if it is more difficult to find so so i get that loose packs have have never been 100 percent safe and there's even been theories when you know you see packs that are from an older set that show up at say a walmart or a target that they maybe were purchased from a distributor who already box mapped you know and and there's people that are even wary about buying products like that so for what it's worth it's not like this is a completely new problem but what makes this different is this is just so much easier to do so uh, that's pretty much it i just wanted to make sure you guys were aware and that you you know understood the risk of maybe buying some loose packs or even you know playing draft or sealed in certain stores where you don't see the box open in front of you that there could be some shenanigans going on and i hope not but i, I just know it's going to happen at some point somewhere uh also the one last thing if you have encountered um some issues or even if you just want your opinion heard about the packs if you go to match you the gathering daily website and i'll leave a link again to the description they are doing this survey it's right here it says magic uh, modern masters 2015 edition survey this survey is actually all about the packaging uh, so i filled it out and there's i think four questions or about four-ish questions about the packaging and then they do allow you to leave a comment and i definitely left a comment saying that you know i was very disappointed in the fact that they missed this design flaw i i honestly don't see how this could have been missed it's the first thing i would have thought of when looking at new packaging is can this be searched <laughs> uh because that's just been such a problem not just in magic the gathering but in the collectible card industry since the beginning of time back in the 80s when baseball cards and football cards were were starting to become big people found ways to search the wax packs and some of them looked pretty convincingly put back together so you know it, it's not like this is a new problem i don't see how they missed it but uh, here we are so be cautious just be vigilant be careful you know make sure if you do buy loose packs that it's from somebody you really trust or or maybe you got a chance to see the box opened in front of you uh, but hey that's all just want to make sure you guys were aware and that uh, you're careful out there with your purchases so hey as always thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day